if you're watching this, you probably already know what happened in Las Vegas last night. I'm usually not up at that hour, uh, but I happen to be up last night and I have um, many uh, friends and students in the Las Vegas area uh, and uh, friends that were in town for the concert event last night uh, that were there. Uh, and you know, I'm glad to say that the people I know uh, were able to come out uninjured, uh, but there were people that they were with that were hurt. Uh, there were uh, other family and friends that were hurt. Uh, so be sure to keep everybody in your thoughts and prayers uh, moving forward. I just want to talk a little bit uh, about the event and uh, plans of actions and whatnot. Uh, we uh, now know uh, that uh, the attacker was uh, on the 32nd floor uh, of the uh, hotel uh, shooting across the property, across Las Vegas Boulevard, uh, out into the uh, area where the concert was taking place. Um, and our active shooter response uh, training courses, you know, we, we always talk about the plan. You know, and it, There's no specific order of the plan, but uh, really it's get away if you can, uh, make it harder uh, for the bad guy to be able to hurt you, or uh, ultimately, you know, fight if necessary, and be prepared to fight. And somewhere in there, you know, communication with 911, or a medical uh, response. You know, if you kind of look at that plan, uh, really, you know, fighting was not a component there, right? You know, we're talking about a, a bad guy that was uh, um, 400, 500 yards away uh, from everyone. Uh, and when you talk about concealing yourself and getting away, you know, when you look at the videos, most people don't even know, you know, where the shots were coming from until you know 20 30 seconds or until the, the second volley of rounds that started taking place so you know certainly there's going to be time to get away but you know there's 500 plus people injured at this point is what the count is so if we're also talking about loved ones that we care about or other people that we want to be able to help we can't really just leave them uh so you know there may be a time where you know, we're talking about medically helping that individual you know, what we do know, whether it's this event or you know Pulse uh, nightclub or any other event for that matter, is the paramedics aren't coming first, right? You know, last night there were reports of EMTs being shot at, so we're not going to have the medical response. You're on your own. You know whether that's five minutes, an hour, two hours, or three hours. You know, well, ultimately, you know you have to be able to protect yourself. <sighs> Man, that's you know, how important is that? It's I know that not everybody out there is going to carry the tools necessary uh, to be able to protect himself, but it, it, the time matters, and you've got to be able to keep the blood in the body. So whether it's direct pressure or wound packing or a tourniquet, if you can carry that, fantastic. That's the, We needed that far faster than you needed a firearm last night. But if you're not going to carry that, sometimes it's being able to improvise that kind of stuff. But you have to actually have the skills to be able to do any of that. So you know, if you're not going to take any class except for one class, it really medical uh, should be the component you should be looking at. That ends up being the most important uh, tool to have in life most of the time. You know, take violence out of the window. And we still may be talking about, a, you know, an automobile accident or a chainsaw accident, you know, after a hurricane uh, response or, you know, a four-wheeler, whatever. You know, if we have lots of blood coming out, you've got to be able to keep it in there. Otherwise, you're not going to make it. I mean, you, there's not going to be enough time to wait for somebody else to be able to do it for you. So, you know, look at that. Look up at that. I'll provide some links below. Uh, if you have other questions about active shooter response or... You know, then you know certainly reach out, contact us through the website, uh, bearcotraining.com, or I'll provide some links for other information uh, below with some other resources. If you don't know where to get uh, medical training uh, for traumatic injuries in your area, certainly comment below, and I'll try to point you in that direction. Thanks again for watching.